As usual, an emotional locker room, especially when you're matching up against the number two team in the country. Uh, Kevin Donnelly stressed the fact that this sort of a game is an opportunity. Ran at the 40-yard line, so the first snap from scrimmage, full house backfield. Three running backs back there. Wheezy under center, looks to hand it off, and there's a run left side. And into the secondary, it'll be a big gain for a first down into Cougar territory. Got a little motion out of there from right to left by one of the running backs. And now he looks to throw and into the flats. He's got a one-handed grab, and that's a William Stubbs. Stubbs down the left sideline and stepped out of bounds. Two protectors either side of uh, Weezy at quarterback out of the gun. Low snap, he's got it, though. Looks right side, throws, and there's an easy grab for the touchdown. It'll be an 18-yard touchdown at the 11:47 mark as the Knights... Hit uh, coming out of the backfield. That's Clifford Brown. And Brown with the touchdown catch, his second of the year. And Marion, ranked number two in the nation, on the board early, 6 0. This is the up back in the I formation. Motion again by uh, their play action fake. Weezy wants to throw in the flats. He's got a catch. Bradford makes the catch coming out of the backfield. It'll be third down and three. Out of the gun now operates Adam Weezy. The junior quarterback hands to Lake. Lake off tackle. He's got the first down. Back pedals to the inside the USF 45 yeah, yard line. Game. Very brief. Uh, Huddle as Lake again finds the seam, gets to the outside. He's inside the 35 and still on his feet all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Weezy with protectors either side. Sets up out of the shotgun formation. Looks the Lake play action fake now. He wants to throw, and the post pattern is there, and the catch is made for the touchdown. It will be a 26-yard touchdown. And 7.09 remaining is Marion on the move and on the board again. They lead it 13 nothing. Kobe Fry is up on the right wing. Out of the pistol is Justin Bozier waiting for the snap. Stretch hand off Campbell working right side. Picks his way, spins, back pedals up across the 43. Bozier, they come up and press coverage far side. Now Marion's defense. Bozier had trouble handling the snap again. Throws of the middle. has got a catch for a first down. It'll be a gain down to the 46-yard line, so nothing fancy, just something Kobe over the middle. But Kobe Fry, Kobe Fry. who uh, was kind of quiet last week, they need seven yards now. Bozier steps up in the pocket, steps up. He can run, he can throw, and he throws late, and that's Knight right lays catch. out and makes the catch and holds on inside the 25 at the 23. What a Herculean effort by Aaron Knight as the Cougars come up needing six now in this third down call coming up. Bozier drops the throw, looks. He's got a man, screens the ball right side, got to run with it across the 20. That's Campbell. I don't know if he got there to the first down stick. Their defensive left side. Here's a run back by Andre Turner and picking his way inside the tent. Motion fry from right to left. Counter run. Turner stumbles at the five. Back pedals in down to the four yard line. Bozier hurries him up, calls his own number, and he had penetration in. We do not see an indication yet by anybody. They're going to unpile, and there's still no indication. And now finally a touchdown is Bozier clearly head forward surge. So it'll be a gain of a yard for a touchdown at the three second mark, and the Cougars have cut the lead pending the conversion in half over number two ranked Marion. Early moments now, the first play from scrimmage to begin the second quarter, and they've uh, Weezy hands the ball off on the draw, and there's a big run, and again, it's going to be a good second effort. Julian Williams in wide right. He came in with 32 catches to lead Marion. Weezy looks that way, throws those short. He's got a wide open catch uh, at the 30 and a couple of additional yards. And here is a quick uh, screen. Uh, Julian Williams, they get him involved, stop and go, cuts to the 20, and down all the way close to the 16-yard line. Weezy out of the gun, hands again, and Lake, uh, second effort, continuing into the end zone, touchdown. Again, St. Francis cannot hold them out. They're hitting them high, and it'll be a touchdown run of five yards for Lake at the 11-19 mark. And Weese out of the shotgun, takes the snap, wants to screen, now checks off, throws it right side. He's got Lake out of the backfield, and he'll have the first down, and much, much more. Got a chance to score, still on his feet inside the 30. Cuts back the middle of the field, and Corey Stamps made the touchdown saving tackle. Lake comes in motion out of the backfield. And here's a screen that Williams has got it. Cuts to the 20, 15, 10, back, stumbling down inside the 10, got to the 8-yard line. And Julian Williams, you can tell what he can do with the football after he catches it. Josephowski comes in to attempt the uh, field goal. He is just 2 of 4, though, inside the 29-yard line. This will be a 20-yard attempt 
Again, a little bit of an angle left to right. Kick is on the way. He's got the distance. Does he have the angle? And he does. A 20-yard field goal will add three to the total for Marion. They'll lead it 24 to seven. Well, there's two halves. For, obviously, they won the first one. They dominated it on both sides of the ball. So we just got to change uh, momentum. We got to keep fighting. You know, you got to play every snap to whistle to the best you got. Uh, made some adjustments, did some things defensively we haven't seen. Um, their offensive line right now is, is controlling the line of scrimmage. I think uh, Coach Maloney made some adjustments on defense. Um, but we got another half. We're going we're gonna to fight to the end here. We're going to turn this thing around. It's the loss of three. Ball's back at the 17. Roll left side. Tough play for Bozier. Throws near side. That's a tip ball and caught by Bencher at the 34-yard line. He's all the way up to the 45-yard line. That is a bit of a gift because Marion had a short interception, but a deflected ball and uh, picked out of the air by the 6'1 junior receiver, Aaron Betcher. And Bozier again, this time uh, Campbell, the running back. And Bozier looks to throw in the slot. Good delivery. Betcher's got it in the opening at the 32. He'll get another yard. The run after the catch down to the 31, and he'll have a first down for St. Francis. And Bozier, long count again. Play clock's at 7, at 6, at 5. Takes the snap, wants to throw in the pocket over the middle. He's got a man, then Fry lays out for it, but can't As find it. As he looks, the, the rush is coming, and he throws in a crossing pattern, and he looks, screens over the middle. And Campbell's got it, but if they were Bozier waiting. rolls to the right side, trying to buy time, sets the feet, throws to the out pattern. Boy, nobody home. Approaching six minutes, time remaining third quarter high snap. Bozier's got it, throws a high ball, and that's finally deflected and intercepted as Marion will get it back at the USF 44-yard line. And they've got a change in there, a little bit of a wildcat look. That's Dexter Taylor pitches the ball late, and uh, USF eats that one up. And let's see if they're going to bring uh, Adam Weiss back in. Low snap, but he picks it up, has all the time again in the pocket. Now scrambles for it. It's going to be hit and dropped at the 42-yard line as uh, I think that was Drebenstein again that chased him across the field and finally made a play. 4-7 our score. Fake. They short snap, they jump, the, and the pass is incomplete. So, boy, they try to cross up the Cougars, but they come away empty, and St. Francis will have excellent field position, but as it is, Marion gets the ball back, and here's a play action bank, and they got to Adam Weiss that time and drop him. It was bombing with a lot of help from his friend Derek Vandenbosch. Eric Duncan comes in, play action fake, and Vandenbosch hit the, well, Lake got rid of the ball, but Lake is buried after he catches the ball, and now USF really turning up uh, the pressure again defensively. Weiss out of the pistol once again. Here comes the blitz again. They run the ball, and there's Tevin Lake. He's breaking tackles and works close to a first down at the 45. I believe he's got it. Miriam coming in uh, ranked number two, and they have lived up to their credentials. As here is uh, the throw, the fade to the right corner, and that's the catch made inside the 10-yard line as Richardson had his back turned to the play, never saw the ball coming to Julian Williams. The tailback is Tevin Lake. He takes the handoff, and he will just carry tacklers into the end zone. Easy touchdown run at the 13.50 mark. That looked like a defeated defense there. Double wing attack. Bozier back there by his lonesome once again. About four yards away from the line of scrimmage. Throws to the left, and there's a the ball tipped high in the air, and that'll be Going picked off. Touchdown. And nobody, it's a lineman uh, that's got one chance to bring him down, and they do bring him down inside the 10-yard line. But again, a high deflected ball, and it'll be first and goal for the Marion Knights. Waiting for the snap. Cougars coming. Right-footed kick is on the way. He's got plenty of leg into this one and got it. Oh, three wide to the left side. He takes the snap. Looking the throw, pulls it down, throws in the middle. He's got a catch at the 15. And uh, not much more than that, it'll be a pickup of six, though, and a positive start for the Cougars. Second down and uh, short, and Hunsucker in at quarterback. And a short drop, he'll run the quarterback draw, gets to the 20-yard line, and uh, up to the 23, and you kind of you just cross your fingers a little bit with Bozier kind of uh, iffy about coming back in. Wide side of the field is to the left for Hunsucker. Two uh, Split wide to the right, the short side. Out of the pocket, giving ground. Steps up the pocket. He can run. He will run. Gets to the 30 and powers his way up to the 35 and converts. On third and 10, picked up 11. On sucker again, in relief of Justin Bozier. Throws left side, and Knight's got the catch. Uh, up around the 41-yard line. Got a foot in bounds. Stepped out of bounds then to stop the clock with 8.21. It's third down call coming up for Wes Hunsucker. 
He looks near side, the, and he's got a catch made, but giving ground, and that cost him the first down. Boy, Bryce they're going to be... Unsucker again calling the snap, and uh, he'll run the draw. Look, and he's got the first down of midfield, and he slides I'm to the 46-yard line of the Marion Knights. Joe, I like the young kid's poise. I know you saw him play in high school, and you came back I'm saying, you know, when you committed to St. Francis, you kept saying, hey, this kid can play. He's a good player. He ends up running for seven yards on that on that uh, fourth down. The challenge is to reach the 37-yard line of the Marion Knights. They'll go for it on fourth down, and here is Hunsecker pumping. Now flush to his right, throws the ball, and he's got a sideline catch by Aaron Knight, first and 10, USF. And you saw a little bit of the right-handed throwing ability of Wes Hunsecker. He's got a good, strong arm. He threw it accurately. And he threw it for a 12-yard pass play on fourth and eight. Hunsucker, let's see if there's something special. Blitz is coming both sides. Here is Hunsucker dancing and throwing the ball left side. He's got it. Miller oh, with a dive and a catch at the 12-yard line. Well, QB to QB. Miller, we told, we've been told, has moved out of that QB position permanently, but he made a nice catch down at the, where'd they mark it, the 11. He takes the snap again, rolling to line. Look, checks back, tip ball. That Kobe Fry's got it, stumbles down to the six-yard line. Bryce Thornton is split wide to the right. Little motion now out of that by Bustamani. As Hunsecker in the pocket, steps up, spun around, throws to the right corner, needs Knight. He's got it inside the five and lost the ball. They're going to rule him down, I believe. He had possession at the one. First and goal now from the one. Hunsecker draws his own number, calls it. Did he get in? They are going to mark him short, I believe. Still no indication. Touchdown. Wes Hunsecker from a yard out at the 403 mark. So the Anna Rocket. Gets his first touchdown of the year, rushing touchdown, and that'll make it 33-13. Well, a little bit of sunshine on an otherwise gloomy game. I think that was a pretty nice drive by the kid. He converted uh, twice on fourth down. Weiss under center again, gives to Bradford, and he will go into the end zone, carrying just Cougar standing up. So a touchdown run at the 32nd mark for Brantford, his first of the day. That may cause us trouble in terms of uh, playoff options. Quite possibly out of the top 10. So now Hunsecker back in. He drops the throw, looks, steps up. Nice spin move, avoids some pressure, dumps it off the Burge. Burge cuts to the 35, got another yard to the 36, left the ball on the ground. That should have been down on contact. Weiss will take a knee, and that will do it. Very impressive performance today. Marion on the road in whipping the uh, sixth ranked USF Cougars by a 27 point margin, winning it 40 to 13. Well, I've beaten every phase of the game today. They're, they're an outstanding football team. Didn't play our best football. A little bit beat up, and uh, we had a drop a lot of footballs, and uh, you know, their offense uh, did a great possible that you just played the best team. Of that's a good possibility. I, I'd say next is better going into it, but uh, they're awfully strong. I think they got enough speed and skill in there, so there's no question about it. I mean, they just dominate football. Earn your team for the rest of the season and uh, Malone team next week. Well, if we got good kids, we'll bounce right back. You know, anybody can win. Takes character when you don't, and our kids have character. We'll come back.